I love brownies. You can use any brownie mix, whether it's your own homemade recipe or any other box brownie. Um, the thing that I like to change up that's different is I like to add an extra egg. So whatever recipe you use, regardless, I add an extra egg. Um, and then I also like to substitute some of the water with some sour cream. I feel like it gives it that extra richness and just the moisture that it needs. The way that we get the zebra effect, I'm putting a block of cream cheese, I'm putting one egg, and I'm putting sugar. I just blend it up really well until it's pretty smooth. We're just going to layer it, and I'll just do one example real fast. So, so I kind of just line it in a row. It's super, super forgiving. That's good to hear. Because <laughs> you are going to be blending it. So I'm just going to quickly demo. Sometimes I like to mix in a little bit of the chocolate before I blend. Yeah. Just so that you get that beautiful zigzag look. And then I, you just take your knife and I just go in zigzag motion. And I feel like this would be really fun to do if you have kids. Yes. You I'll know? let your kids just go to town, have fun. And then you kind of turn that. the pan or just go in the other direction. Then it just goes in and it bakes beautifully. Really so it's usually gorgeous. just about 35 to 45 minutes. It's